I'm going to show you how to add a wooden plank top to your furniture makeover. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with y'all a commission piece that I worked on and how to add a wooden top to your furniture makeovers. I've done this before on my channel, so I will leave that video in the description if you're interested in watching that. This commission piece was in really good condition and didn't need any repairs. So if you want to see this transformation and how to add a new top to your furniture makeovers, then just keep watching. After removing the original top that was not secured and the hardware, I used a TSP substitute to clean everything really well and prep it for paint. I then removed the doors and set their hinges in the appropriate labeled ziplock. To scuff sand, I used 120 grit sandpaper with my mouse sounder and followed by a sanding sponge for the harder to reach and curved areas. All right, so I'm actually ready to go ahead and start priming this. I am going to prime mostly because as you can see here on this side, the owner actually started sanding it. And since they were sanding it to bare wood, that side isn't gonna match the rest. So I figured the easiest way for me to get it all evened out is for me to just go ahead and prime it. Now I'm gonna be using spray. The reason I'm using, normally you see me roll it on is because of all this different kind of design from the legs to this, here in between. Like I wanna make sure and get in between every single little crevice and make sure I get primer and paint on there. So yes, I will be spraying my paint on here as well. I do have two just in case I need more than one for two coats, which I probably will, but we'll see what happens. So let's go ahead and start spraying. I forgot to mention that the primer I'm using is Kills Original.
I lightly sanded to remove any texture and I always like to blow as much dust off as possible but I almost always follow it with a rag to get any lingering dust off. Primed, I could see the areas that needed wood filling on the door so I went ahead and filled those in. Okay so the color that I'm going to be using to spray today is going to be Jet Black by Milan. If you guys are used to my channel and you saw my latest uh, makeover then you saw that I used this color. Um, that video was a lot of hard work so if you haven't checked it out please go and check it out i'll leave it up here as well as in the description you guys can see how i brought life back to that dresser literally i mean it was falling apart but anyways i'm going to be using that exact same color for this dresser um, because my client is requesting a black color and this is a true black color i'm going to mix it um, put it through my strainer put it in my container and i'm going to start spraying Instead of sanding away the wood filler once it was dry, I grabbed a damp cloth and wiped away the excess wood filler. I made sure to sand using 320 grit sandpaper before applying the second coat of paint. Okay, so you guys probably remember this top that it originally came with. Well, my client does not want this top. She wants a different top made for this um, sidebar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one by four boards and I'm going to make a new top for this. So I'm gonna take the old measurements from here, use that for my new top, and then we'll go from there. So let me show you how I'm gonna do it. I measured and cut all of my boards to length and in order to get the top to the perfect width I did have to strip one of the boards down using my table saw. To connect all of the boards together, I placed pocket holes on the ends and the center of all boards except for the last one. So as not to waste any time, I went ahead and prepped my polyurethane for the sprayer. I tinted it using the same black color and watered it down as well. I've got 
boards here with pocket holes. I'm ready to glue them together and secure them together for the new top. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now while I wait on that first coat of top coat to dry. So let's go ahead and glue these up. And you guys have seen me, if you're used to my channel, glue a bunch of stuff together and use pocket holes to secure things together. So I'm gonna kind of speed this up, not really take my time and explain too much. Um, I'm literally just going to glue every, every side clamp them together and secure them with pocket holes screws. So let's get started. I do want to mention that you want to make sure you don't over tighten your clamps when clamping them together. After I screw in all of the pocket hole screws, I waited for the glue to dry and I lightly sanded and sprayed the second coat of top coat. After removing the clamps, I placed the original over top to be able to measure out the rounded edges. Of course, this isn't actually necessary and you could leave it squared if you wanted to. Using my jigsaw, I cut out the curved edges and sanded everything smooth using 120 grit sandpaper followed by 220. I wanted a more clean finished off look so with a round over bit and my router I rounded out the edges. I smoothed the edges out by sanding with a sanding sponge. My client really liked the natural wood color against the black, so to help cancel out any orange-yellow tones from the wood, I did a light wash using this, some latex paint and water. While I waited on the wash to completely dry, I added contact paper to the shelves as well as the drawer bottom. I used liquid nails and the existing holes to screw and secure the top on. If you were placing it on top of an existing one, I would glue and nail it in. The original brass hardware was shined up using Barkeeper's Friend and I hadn't noticed I ran out of steel wool so I used a scrubbing dish pad which worked out pretty great. I 
I added two coats of polyurethane to the top and made sure to stand between each coat. Remember what this buffet used to look like. And what it looks like now. much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and that i was able to help you learn how to add a new wooden top to your furniture makeovers if you did enjoy today's video or you found it helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave and leave me any questions you have down in the comments below so that i can go ahead and answer them for you you guys stay safe be kind and i'll see y'all next week bye mm -hmm.